We're, We're back. back. Hey, and look who is back. Justin and Zach is back. That's right. It's Top Tournament Tuesday. Hopefully the last segment of that. Or should we finish it out? At least do the series. You have to finish it out. The because, indoor series. Because we have our Correct. first event this week. Correct. Right? I think we're going to try to rotate back to top play Tuesday. Would okay. Be a lot of fun for everybody. These are the big decisions that we make here on a daily basis. So, and, it, and they happen that fast. They do. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. You just were inside the office with us. So today on Top Tournament Tuesday, we're going to be highlighting the next indoor event after, which last time was March Madness. This time it's the Turf Wars. It is the third annual uh, Turf Wars. Uh, coming your way in a couple weeks so we're going to talk about the two divisions that are in it which is the 10u and the 12u and uh since zach doesn't have his phone with us and we're currently using that to video us uh we go ahead and and go through this any any uh housekeeping items or sign up today i mean we are truly we said it's on monday did you watch yesterday since you were off yesterday I, he, he actually had an off day i did watch yesterday you didn't? I did. I watched the first 30 seconds. All right. <laughs> but, you know, register. We are running out of time. Champions We're running out of space. Dot org. Email me. Zach at championsevents.org. You know Send your rosters into that one. and uh, Or give us a call, 315-430-0154. Registrations again today. They're still coming in. A quick thank you to Coach Countryman for sending me in a roster today. Alicia coming in hot with the roster. Thank you, Alicia. So here's the 10U division. For the Champions Turf Wars, the final edition, this is it. We got Glow Academy, Cayuga Bombers, Allen and Cayuga Bombers, Ashby, Coach Ashby. And we have Crimson Pride, Coach Wright, Bevo Swarm. It's a Bevo B siding with Coach Breen. RBI Thunder, another Crimson Pride. I hope this is right. Yep. And then last but not least, EGC 10U. Oh, no. Another abbreviation. Should we guess today? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know it? East. Hmm. EGC. Yeah. We should know this. We apologize, but we're going to find out. And uh, we're going to scream it from the mountaintop when we, we know what it is. But uh, th that's the 10U division. It's a, actually a very competitive division uh, coming in for the Turf Wars at Pinnacle. Again, Three game guarantee indoor, two full fields. Center field's about 220, 225. Um, and, you know, the, the ceiling ever, if barely ever, comes into play. Um, so, parent viewing area, uh, restaurant, full bathrooms, uh, you name it, it's all there. It's climate controlled. This is not a dome, folks. This is not a bubble. This is a building, a structure, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, live streaming as well, game changer. The whole works. It's all there. Umpires. There will be <laughs> there will be umpires, and I'm pretty sure they're probably asking for more money. So that's that. So let's look at our 12U division, and uh, we're pretty stacked on that one as well. A lot of active here. Ooh, this is good. All right, let's take a look. Here we go. Zach, our 12U. Yes. Why don't you read them off, man? Got it. Beville Swarm. It's one a Beville B. They're coming back. Cayuga Bombers, another returner. Churchville Chai Lai. Chile, I learned that's Chile, always, is it? not Chile. Okay, I was just going to say I it. learned that recently. So welcome, Boy, Churchville, do we love Chile. Chile. Saints, we love Chile. We yep. love Churchville. Yeah. We love Saints. Yeah. Crimson Pride, the Devil Cats, welcome. Yeah. East Greenbush Castleton. Yeah. The Ruse out of Kangaroo Court North. This is a very good division. division. Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig, the Phantoms, Seneca All-Stars, and those, the... Webster Wolves. <laughs> and that's a that is a hot division right there. That encompasses literally the entire state. Yeah. That's incredible. We got Rochester, Buffalo. Fun fact, Churchville Chile is pretty close to Rochester. Yes, that is accurate. <laughs> um how do you know that? Drove through it. There you go. There you go. Two days ago. So that is that. Uh what after the turf wars, there's one more, I believe. That's the guaranteed opening day challenge. And then that wraps up the indoor. Again, all indoor events are completely sold out. That's done. Memorial Stars and Strikes, that's officially closed out. That is done. Mm. Uh Summer Classic is like a team or two away, and that'll be done. And then we're waiting for uh, more organizations, teams to be registering for the other events. Those are close to getting done as well. New York State Travel Ball Championship, that's at the end or the end of july 
first weekend of August. You got to win or be a runner up and you get an auto bid into that event. There's already 20 plus teams in there. They've already just registered for it. So again, you're into these tournaments. You're not just competing to win, obviously, but you're competing to get to that New York Strait Travel Ball Championship Series. So we're looking forward to that. Anything else? No. Okay. And with that being said, Zach, Zach. Zach. Justin. Justin? Yep. Thank you. <laughs>